Hey everybody, my name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing. And today we are out on the road and at an event. It's about an hour away from the house and in my idea with, with this video is to show you how I actually do what I do. Um, a lot of people find it amazing that I do this by myself. Um, I know a lot of people work in crews for cross country and you know I don't fault them for it, but I prefer to work by, by myself. Uh, there are times where that's disadvantageous. Uh, there are times where that's really advantageous. Um, you know, I can't yell at myself for forgetting to do something. So, um, but I'm here with enough time. That's that's my kind of my first point to make is that always arrive where you're going with enough time to deal with anything that might come up. I left it early enough so that if I got a flat tire on the road, I would be okay. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, I got here with enough time to go to Walmart, which is nearby here, and pick up a couple of things that I've been meaning to pick up. Um, and I got here with enough time to actually do some, some you know, housekeeping basically, because uh, the floor had a ton of dead grass in it, so I swept it out. And now I'm here. Generators where it needs to be, the tripods are where they need to be, the mats are roughly where they need to be. Also, I, I hopped out and un unfurled them because they got rained on two days ago and it's been raining ever since. So they're drying outside. The scoreboards are up. The only thing I really haven't done is uh, plug the mats in, get them staked down, get the cameras up, and then get everything networked. So that's what I'll be doing in the next uh, you know, 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna be doing that off camera. And, uh, and then really the, the next thing is going to be when the race starts. You know, the gun's gonna go off and with cross country, there's not a whole lot to do for you know 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm assuming that you've already tested everything yourself and, and are, are good to go with that. But um, you know, the, the thing that, that comes to mind with, with cross country is uh, you know, making sure that you're ready for them to come in. And the challenge today with what I'm doing, but I'm doing it by myself, is if somebody, if I notice that somebody doesn't have a chip on or their chip doesn't read or whatever, I'm gonna have to hop out and go find that, that person really quickly, find out what their last name is or find out what their competitor number is or whatever, come back in and, and take care of it in software. That is the kind of challenge today. And it's very easy to get in the weeds on a day like today because it's only a two mile race and they're junior high kids and anything can happen. So there's not a lot of time in between. Um, you know, the, the reason that they pushed back the women in the NCAA to a 6K wasn't because they needed more of a challenge, is that there was too many people finishing within too short of a time span during the 5K at the national championships in Division One since 20 years ago. But, you know, with it, so it stands to reason as, as you shorten the race distance, the, the displacement between athletes is going to lessen. And so that's what we're going to deal with today. Uh, high school event or a college event, usually there's plenty of time I can hop out, you know, like, hey, what's your name, you know, whatever. But we're going to see a couple of periods of time where we're going to have <laughs> probably five or, or six kids finish within like three or four seconds. And, you know, if one of them doesn't have a chip on, then it's going to be a real challenge. So anyway, uh, let's well, let me get set up. And next time you see me will be a few minutes before the finish of the first race. Sit rep. We're five minutes into the boys two mile and I busted up my finger. Thankfully, I always carry, uh, I always carry some Neosporin and uh, oh, also I broke the Adenolinx lens. So, um, yeah, I, I grabbed the wrong wire. Uh, I thought it was the wire that was going to be going to the main finish, the finish line camera, and it ended up being the Identalinks camera. Uh, so I gave it a yank and recognized the error as soon as I pulled on it and felt, you know, even a modest amount of resistance because I knew that the the uh, other one, the other camera, wasn't even plugged in. So. Yeah, that was uh, pretty boneheaded. Oh, so I, I, I was able to duct tape that when, when these Computar lenses on the Identalinks break, they almost basically snap right at the base of the camera. So the camera seems to be fine and operational. Um, there's probably some dust on the lens, which I, I didn't you know get off, but uh, all you gotta do is just push the, the lens back on the camera and it'll be okay. Um, 
mean, it did, oof, did break my handy dandy um, lens cover, uh, but I have material at the house that I can fix that, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just kind of a hassle, obviously. So we've got a couple of minutes left, and just went in, checked the dashboard. I saved everything out of the dashboard, exported it, I should say, um, from the live reads that it had been getting, and cleared it. So that's now wide open, a few tags, and that nothing's there. And back over here. Zoom out twice from the main camera. As you can see, I've got my own customized screen because I, I like things a little bit differently set up than what what Lynx would provide for cross country only. For track, I use a much more standard screen. And we have two athletes coming up the hill. Capturing. And let's go to work. I'm just watching for things to populate in this screen right here. So I know that six girls have finished and that's what we got right now. So just a quick note about my setup here. I've got a 17 inch Dell that's running finish links and then the Ipico information that's coming in. And then I've got Meet Pro running on a 15 inch Dell that's kind of at a screen. That, that computer is also running my you know, web service stuff, so I'm uploading to the website using that one. And then down below, I've got a 14-inch Dell that's uh, running scoreboard software. So if you see me going over to the uh, my left side, that's uh, that's me dealing with me pro-related things. We've got a big group of girls coming up the hill right now, like maybe 10 within a couple of seconds. So we'll see how it goes. 33. So three, and two. Good, and one. Good, and four. Good, and two. to your coach. So here it was, thinking we were going to be perfect, and did finally have somebody that didn't, that wasn't in. So I figured out who it was. She's standing right in front of Van. Normally it doesn't happen that easy. But you can see, you know, being being present and watching this as they populate is really helpful to try to you know, determine when I need to hop out and go look at something. Uh, as it is right now, I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is what we have. Like what we have is accurate. Okay, so I think that's it, but I'm not really sure if that's actually everybody. Um, the good thing is that, you know, I can actually shut stuff down uh, without being worried about something actually failing. So I will go ahead and start to pull some things, like I'll pull down the, uh, the Identalinks and uh, you know start to kind of dissect things a little bit, but not worried about it. If uh, somebody is actually still out in the course, everything's still gonna be operational, we'll be good to go. So it's saving everything, now we'll go out. But in a nutshell, that's, uh, that's how I work. That's how I do it by myself and present some interesting challenges, obviously, but nothing we can't handle. So, thank you. If you have questions, please feel free to leave it down below. 
Uh, please, you know, if you like the video, hit the like button. You know, smash the like button. Uh, anyway, uh, but subscribe and thank you for watching. See you soon. Haha, <laughs> I was right. There's one more girl out there. And she's walking. But it's okay. Everything will still read. So, yeah, bye.